Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video here today on my channel. Now, yesterday I was asked on Twitter in preparation for today, being Friday the 13th, if I could make the top five scariest maps in Call of Duty Zombies ever. So I was originally not going to do it, but I checked out the guy that commented and recommended it and it turns out he's been watching my videos for a really really long time and i really really appreciate his you know opinion on my channel and things like that so i figured i would go ahead and make this video for him and for you guys to enjoy so today we're going to be counting down the top five scariest maps in Treyarch Zombies history. Now, before I get into it, you guys may not agree with my list and that's totally fine. I wanna know your top five down in the comment section. If you guys agree with me, let me know. And also guys, if you enjoy the video, please do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe. If you guys are new, we're getting closer and closer to 98,000 subscribers. So we're really close to 100,000 as well. So without further ado guys, let's get into the top five scariest maps in Call of Duty Zombies history. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be Shinonuma. Now, since they remastered this in Zombies Chronicles, it's known as a Division 9 facility. But before that, before way back in World at War, this map was definitely considered to be one of the more scary maps per se because of the creepy noises that you can hear around the map. You can hear children laughing at certain points in the map, which is always scary, and it just has an eerie feeling about it. The swamp being there, the zombies coming out of the swamp. If you go through the swamp, you move a little bit slower, especially in Zombies Chronicles, you literally move like you're a freaking turtle, and <laughs> literally like you get stuck in the mud, and it's worse than Origins. So that is a big factor, I guess, as well, but you kind of just feel this sense of dread and you don't really know where zombies are going to come from they hop over like onto the bridge which can be very scary and annoying and it just has a really eerie feeling about it and i thought that it deserved to be the number five spot now i was gonna toss up a few different maps at the number five spot it's really hard to pick a number five but i figured that shinonuma definitely deserved the spot at number five Coming in at the number four spot is going to be Zetsubo no Shima. Now, when Treyarch was kind of hyping up the map and they did a live stream, they said that this was going to be the scariest Treyarch map of all time. And that is definitely not the case. Now, yes, it is kind of scary. There's spiders. And if you're afraid of spiders then obviously that might be a little bit scary also just the eerie feeling of the map as well you have the same type of feeling that shinonuma had there's swamps there's areas with water there's areas you literally need to swim in the water the thrashers basically come out of nowhere and the zombies are you know kind of you know annoying in a sense but it's also really dark and just eerie in general which we don't see as much in zombies maps especially like derise and jack i think that that one is kind of bright it's not really scary same thing with garad Krovi. it's nice and bright it's in the day even revelations there's a lot of areas in that map that are kind of bright and they're not scary so i don't think they did the best job at making this map scary but i still think it's a little bit more scary than shinonuma so i put it at the number four spot coming in at the number three spot is going to be knock dare on Totten. now this is the first map ever in call of duty zombies and if you were one of the first people to actually play this map after beating the world at war campaign then you were definitely going to be crapping your pants literally when you beat the campaign it went right to this bonus mode and no one expected it now i played world at war when it was released and i did end up playing this map over my friend's house we were playing through the campaign and then all of a sudden it started my friend died literally on round two and i don't even remember what round i died on but it was seriously one of the scariest things that we had ever seen like still there are people that don't play this map solo now in this game i was playing solo but it still was really really eerie and it really scared me a little bit in a sense now it's not one of those things where you're just frightened like non-stop like you know there's gonna be a jump but it's kind of that like eerie feeling like you know you're gonna die pretty soon because the weapon 
weapons aren't that good in World at War. Now, in this version, I was playing the Black Ops 1 version, so the guns are a little bit better. You can get, like, the Thunder Gun and stuff. But I feel like the maps in World at War, you know, you didn't have any perks. So you're basically screwed, in a sense, at any time you play the map because you know you're not going to survive that long. So I think that Noct deserved to be at the number 3 spot. Now it's in Zombies Chronicles. You can buy perks from the Wonder Fizz, and it makes it a whole lot easier. But I think that Noct definitely deserved the number 3 spot. Coming in at the number 2 spot is Mob of the Dead. Now, as you guys know, it's my favorite map ever in Call of Duty Zombies, and it definitely is one of the ones that scares a lot of people. There's a ton of blood everywhere around this map. There's even bathtubs filled with blood. There's bodies hanging in the showers. There is so much blood everywhere. You have to fill up the Cerberus heads. You have Brutus as a brutal boss, and it just takes place in a jail. Now, I've watched some episodes of The Walking Dead, and when they're in the jail, I think that that was probably the scariest thing that I had seen in that show. It was always dark, it was always dingy, and that's exactly how it feels in Mob of the Dead. You don't really know what to expect every time you play, which is a reason that Zombies is great, but it's also a reason why Mob of the Dead is one of the scariest maps. The zombies have red eyes, it also calls back a lot to kind of like the devil, and there's like six, six, six everywhere, there's pentagrams, a lot of stuff that is really like demonic in a sense so it's definitely one of the scariest maps i still love it to death just because of everything about the map is so good but it definitely is one of the scariest so i put it at the number two spot coming in at the number one spot for the scariest creepiest whatever you want to call it map it is going to be verrucked now verrucked was another world at war map and World at War really encapsulated this whole need of a scary and eerie feeling when you're playing zombies. And this was no exception for this map. Taking place in a German asylum, Nazi zombies, man, were coming after you. And the whole Nazi feeling was another thing that I forgot to mention completely in Noct as well. But I feel like the whole nazi feeling of this map and going up to the chair and you hear a drill you hear screams there's eerie sounds all over every single time you're playing the zombies just look scary i mean this was really before they even started a storyline and they still had like blood writing on the walls we later found out that it had to do with dempsey who was on sent by the marines to get Peter McCann and he ended up not being there and Smokey and John Banana died and another Marine that we've never heard of before. So it's definitely really cool to see this map and how far it's come in Zombies Chronicles, but it still has to be one of the scariest maps. Now, another thing that kind of made it a little bit more scary is if you're playing co-op and maybe you're playing two player, your friend can spawn on the other side of the map which can make it a little bit more challenging as well because you have to, you know, meet up with your friend and you're not together at the start like on some of the other maps. So that kind of added a new dynamic and it made it kind of scary as well. So I decided that I would put Verrucked as the number one scariest map to this day in Call of Duty Zombies from World at War all the way until Black Ops 3. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like. Have a great Friday the 13th and earlier today they hopefully when you're watching this released the boss mode for infinite warfare zombies so if you guys want to see me go for like some really high leaderboards definitely let me know down in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out